Place Smart Line allows you to place a line, line strength, shape, arc, or a different combination of these. The newly placed element becomes a complex chain, a complex shape, or a normal shape depending on what elements make up the final construct and whether it is open, meaning not returning to the original starting point, or closed, meaning the Smart Line returned to the origin of the shape. You can find Place Smart Line on the Home Ribbon tab in the Placement Ribbon group. In this lesson, you will learn Place Smart Line, Use of the Segment, Use of the Vertex, and Placing Smart Line Using AccuDraw. Start MicroStation Connect Edition and on the Work page, set the following. Workspace, Bentley Connect Training. Work Set, MS Basics. Click Browse and open learning.dgn from the backslash msbasics backslash dgn backslash 05 creating drawing elements folder in the course data set. By default, the data set is installed in C colon backslash Bentley Connect Training backslash worksets. Open the Models dialog by clicking on Models on the Home Ribbon tab in the Primary Ribbon group. Open the AccuDraw model by double-clicking it in the list. In this exercise, we are going to create three familiar objects using a combination of Place Smart Line and AccuDraw options. This exercise closely mimics a real-world workflow where you are responsible for drawing intricate constructs. Let's begin with a simple church profile. Here we see a combination of rectangular or XY coordinates mixed with polar coordinates. To master this exercise, we'll need to pay close attention to the AccuDraw settings and its behavior. To get started, select Place Smart Line with the following tool settings. Segment Lines, Vertex Sharp, Joint Elements Enabled, Rotate AccuDraw Enabled, Start in Line Mode Enabled. First. Place a data point to locate the lower left corner of the church. Make sure you are in rectangular mode. If you are in polar mode, press the M key. If nothing happens, it means you don't have focus in the AccuDraw window. Click on the AccuDraw window. Let's draw that first defining line. With the cursor snapped on the Y axis, press Enter to lock it to the axis. Type 41 for the number of units that make up the side of the church. Rotate the AccuDraw compass to a normal orientation by using the V key. The Y axis, the green tick mark on the top of the compass, points straight up. The next step is to draw the steeple. The difference between it and the line we just drew is the need to set a distance and angle rather than an XY coordinate. Press the M key to switch to the polar compass. With AccuDraw's focus already set on distance, Type in 15 for the length of the line. Press the Tab key. In the Angle field, press 70 for the angle of the steeple. Enter a data point to place the line. Press the V key again to reset the compass for the view orientation. To complete the steeple, we need to draw the complementary angled line. Move the cursor down the slope until the previous distance indicator appears. This sets the length of the line. Next. Press the Tab key to switch fields once again to Angle. Type in minus 70 for the downward slope of the steeple. Click Data Point to complete the line. Hint: If you place an incorrect vertex, you can press Ctrl Z or select Undo once or multiple times as needed to undo the last segment or segments. Then just resume entering points. Do not reset the Place Smart Line tool first. Press M to switch to the rectangular compass and V to reset the orientation of the compass. Index the line on the negative Y axis and type in 12. That completes the creation of the steeple. Next we will create the roof line of the church, including an extra pitch at the right end of the roof. With the compass already at the bottom of the steeple, index the line along the positive X axis and type in 26, the length of the horizontal part of the roof. Data point to accept. 
At this point, we'll be using polar coordinates to add the extra pitch to the roof line. Press the M key to switch back to the polar compass. The pitch at this part of the roof is 15 units at 30 degrees. With the AccuDraw focus automatically on the distance field, type in 15 units and press the Tab key. AccuDraw's focus switches to the angle. Type in 30 degrees to set it. Data point to accept. To finish out the church profile, we'll use rectangular coordinates. Press the M key, then the V key. At this point, all that remains is the right side of the building and the ground level. Index to the Y axis and press Enter to lock the line to this axis. To set the length, use AccuSnap to locate the first data point location that started this shape. Data point to accept the snap and data point a second time to set the line vertex. Data point one last time on the snap location to complete the church profile shape. The completed figure highlights and the tooltip indicates that it is a shape. If not, you have probably interrupted the Place Smart Line tool while drawing. That's not really a problem. In one of the last exercises in this series, you will learn how to tie the segments together into one element. Let's create the second figure, the P symbol as a public parking symbol in our design. Select Place Smart Line with the following tool settings. Segment, Lines. Vertex, Sharp. Join Elements, Enabled. Rotate, AccuDraw, Enabled. Start in the Line Mode, Enabled. Enter a data point to define the lower left corner of the figure. Make sure the rectangular compass is active. Use AccuDraw to define the first vertical element with a length of 36 units and a horizontal segment of 14 units. In the tool settings, change the segment option to arcs. The tilde key is a quick shortcut to switch between line and arc segments. You will find this very convenient in this exercise. Move the cursor downward and define the center of the arc 10 units below the last point. Move the cursor around the center of the point to display the desired arc. Enter a data point along the negative Y axis. Change segment option back to lines using the tilde key. Close the outline of the figure by drawing the last three segments, six units horizontal, 16 units vertical, and eight units horizontal to close the element. Because this figure contains an arc, SmartLine creates a complex shape instead of a standard shape. With the outline of the P completed, it is time to place the hole in the P. With SmartLine still our active tool, move the cursor to the snap point at the inside right corner of the outline, but do not data point. Plus, make sure the yellow X is displayed at the snap point. We aren't going to draw a line from this location, instead we'll offset from it. AccuDraw should have input focus. If it does not, press the F11 key to move the focus to the AccuDraw window. Press the O key to set the origin of the AccuDraw compass at that snap point. Move the cursor upwards along the Y axis. Enter the value 7 to define the offset distance and data point. Next, create the vertical segment and the horizontal segment, both with a length of 6 units. In the tool settings, change the segment option to arcs. Use the tilde key to do this. Move the cursor downwards and define the center of the arc at three units below the last point. Move the cursor around the center point to display the desired arc and enter a data point on the Y AccuDraw axis. Change segment to lines again with the tilde key. Close the figure by snapping to the start point. Again, a complex shape is created. The final figure in this exercise is an L-shaped beam profile. What makes this special is the use of radius vertices 
the focus of this exercise. To create these rounded vertices, we'll use SmartLine's Vertex tool setting. Select Place SmartLine with the following tool settings. Segment Lines, Vertex Sharp, Join Elements Enabled, Rotate AccuDraw Enabled, Start in the Line Mode Enabled. Enter a data point to define the lower left corner of the figure and use AccuDraw to define a vertical segment with a length of 30 units and a horizontal segment of 5 units. Currently, you're creating sharp corner vertices. To change the vertex type of the last vertex, in the tool settings, change vertex to rounded and set the radius field to 2.5. Note that this is 2.5 units and not 0.25 units. Move the cursor downward and define the length of the next segment as 25 units. Note how the sharp vertex of the last line changed into a rounded one. Continue with a horizontal segment of 25 units and a vertical segment of 5 units. Note how all of the vertices are rounded so far, just as we wanted. The last vertex we placed still appears rounded when, in fact, we need it to be sharp. In the Tool Settings window, change Vertex to Sharp. Close the figure by snapping to the Start Point and Data Point. Note how that last vertex reverted back to a sharp one. Another complex shape is created. Hint, you can change the type of vertex afterwards with the Modify Element tool. Just snap to the vertex, change the vertex tool setting, and the rounding radius or the chamfer offset, and snap to the original point again. Note, do not delete the figures you created, as we will be using them later for other exercises in this practice session. In this lesson, you learned Place Smart Line, Use of the Segment, Use of the Vertex, and Placing a Smart Line Using AccuDraw. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.